Hello guys, Lego Master Reviews here, and I'm reviewing the brand new Lego Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi for Star Theater set. This set just released August 1st, and yeah, it's pretty cool, and it has four exclusive minifigures as of right now. And yeah, super cool minifigures, super cool set, and we'll just jump into it. Um, so let's just start off here, we'll take a look at Ned B, and um, he's a really nice minifigure. He has this great um, new piece, kind of as um, like a mold, dual molded piece. And it's really nice. He's probably the best minifigure. This is honestly one of the best minifigures of the year. It's really great. He has this clip piece on the back. And there's actually no stickers in this set, which I like a lot. I don't really like stickers. I prefer print, so that's really cool. And this is a print, so that's super cool. And you have this little clip piece right here. And it is pretty accurate to the show. Let me take out his legs, but then it's kind of hard to get this piece off. But it's um pretty cool. As you can see, it's dual molded. And really nice printing on it. It's a plain black torso underneath, but you don't need any printing on it. And kind of like the blue and um, yellow arm. Yeah, and then he has this kind of hair piece, which he used in the show. And yeah, overall, really great minifigure. I like this one a lot. Next to her, take a look at Tala. And uh, she's really cool as well. She has great printing um, on the torso. And nice back printing as well in the hat. She's like wearing the Imperial Officer um, kind of suit. Which isn't really accurate for the scene. Because she was in like really like, kind of um, brown rose by that scene. But it is still fine. Uh, she has this amazing new face print, which is really nice. I'm not sure if the torso one has exclusive, though. But and it's the same skin tone that we got from the Mandalorian, the brand new one. So that's nice as well. Face is really cool and really great printing. And yeah, she also has this blaster. Now I'll take a look at Darth Vader. And he's really nice as well. Um, exclusive to the set, all the minifigures are. Um, great face print, as you can see, as well as back head print. He has this kind of like, um, not the like the soft goods capes, but more like the... I don't know how to really describe it. You know what I'm talking about. And then the neck, kind of neck piece. And then the Vader helmet. I really like how this kind of goes together. And then the um, torso and legs are really nice. And flipping it around, you can see he has a great torso print. And then he has really nice arm printing as well. The Darth Vader figures definitely look better with arm printing. Then he has the lightsaber, which is kind of the more tinned down, translucent uh, color. Then he has the nice silver um, lightsaber hilt. Really great figure. And last up here, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, and he's really great as well. I like this one a lot. Um, um, personally, I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, but the hairpiece and the face are the same one from the other Obi-Wan Kenobi figure from the Inquisitor Transport. And yeah, it's pretty cool. He has a back head printing, which looks a little more angry. Great torso printing, you can see his hood. And then, um, yeah, great front printing as well as leg printing. And yeah, brown arms, really cool. This is kind of like Jedi robe. I like that a lot. And he has the same lightsaber hilt and the kind of the toned down translucent blade. Yeah, great Obi Wan Kenobi figure. I do think I prefer the other one over this one, but it's still a really great figure. But now moving on to the set, I know a lot of people don't like this set, especially for fifty dollars. But it really isn't that bad in my opinion. It's a great display set, and you definitely need the figures to, um, to display this at its best. But I will just start off with the front here. You get these two rotating tiles, which is really nice. Um, for obviously you need that to rotate your figures. So you put Obi Wan and Darth Vader on there. Yeah, you can kind of like twist them, have the lightsabers fight and stuff. That's pretty fun. And then you get this little two clear pieces, and this is meant to be, it's kind of violent, honestly, um, for Lego. But you can make Obi-Wan a Vader, like pick up Obi-Wan. So that's really nice, as you can see. So yeah, pretty cool effect. And then, another really cool play, you can lift this up, so you can have the fire that he drags Obi-Wan through. And then this does tilt over, I'll get to that in a minute. And to push this down, um, let me turn this around for you here. Um, it does kind of tip sometimes, it does get frustrating. So you just open this up, and then you see this piece right here, you just pull that down, and it's pretty nice. But we'll take the figures off here, you know, give you a better look here. This is where you put Tala, or any minifigure, really, whatever you want. It's a really great, great place for her to sit. This one little stud, pretty nice there. This is what you use to fire off um, the little thing right here that holds the, like, lava pieces, as you can see. And you kind of just tilt that and like lava pieces fall out. So that's pretty neat. I like that a lot. Um, getting that out of the way though. You get a lot more flame, a lot more flame pieces. And you get another spot right here for minifigures. You can open this up. This is a really cool. I'm not quite sure what it is though. Um, but it is nice. You get some lava pieces in there. And then flipping it around again. More pieces right here. And yeah, overall it's a really neat set. And just to show you that again, that one play feature. You slide it out and just pops out. And to show you that from underneath. It's kind of just some Technic pins. Um, it's not that complicated, it just opens up, and again, you kind of flip this down and close it up. Yeah, you open it up, it just flies up. That's pretty cool, it's a really neat play feature. That's my favorite play feature of the set too. 
it, this, this does get annoying sometimes. I've knocked this off a lot lately, but it is fine. It's like this little post here. Um, this kind of does look more rocky, it, it, and in the scene it did look a little rocky, but it was sand, so that's a little, um, but it was nighttime, so it looked gray. And yeah, but overall, I had a really fun time building this set. Like, it was pretty, really fun to build. Um, I like building the kind of like the more like rock like flat pieces. And yeah, but it kind of does kind of look a little boring without the figures. And if you're going to display this set, you're definitely going to need the minifigures for it. Um, but overall, I think $50 really isn't that bad of a price, especially when you're getting four exclusive minifigures and a pretty decent build. Um, I don't think it's that bad. I think this set gets way too much hate. But I would recommend this if you're a fan of the Obi-Wan show and just want some minifigures from that. Because again, this overall really great set. But I do understand why some people may want to pass on this. Overall, I'd probably give this set about a 7.5 out of 10. It has its flaws here and there, but overall, I think it's a pretty decent set. And I think it's about worth $50. It's pretty bulky. Um, it's not exactly heavy, but it does have a little weight to it. But yeah, not a bad set overall. And I would recommend it if you're a fan of Obi-Wan's show. But yeah, that being said, that's my review on the LEGO Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi vs. Darth Vader. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great day.